Good evening, my name is Brian Bird. I'd like to start by saying that I'm not feeling too well. I've been sick, so if I sneeze or cough or anything, I'm fine. I just have not been in the best health status lately. Um, so let me get started. What I'm here to discuss today is a potential new business acquisition we will be getting within a few months, hopefully to move some of our production lines to China. Um, the main reason I'm presenting to you today is to allow us to have a successful transition when discussing our our business terms with people over there. There are certain customs, certain courtesies that need to be followed to give them the utmost respect and show them that we are serious about what we are trying to do um, with moving over there. So let me just get started by saying why we want to move. I was approached um, with this assignment to present this to you guys because we are trying to move there um, simply because it is cheaper for us to create the products we're trying to create, pay the people that are creating the project and to export it out. It's a lot easier, especially when making them in bulk. And if we are going to try to expand our business to multiple countries throughout the world, it is going to be a better, better move for us in the long run. So as you can see from this uh, report with the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average income of someone in China is far beneath what we get, are getting paid here. So, I mean, simply looking at this graph right here, the average person in the United States probably making eight to ten dollars an hour. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I would assume they're making. China, it's less than three dollars an hour. So it's it's not much to live on, but that's simply what it's what it comes down to, and that's U.S. dollars. So I mean, the conversion rate to to yen may be. A decent amount for them to live on as the price of stuff may not be that the same there but we just have to keep that in mind it's a lot cheaper for us to move there so now that we established why we're going there let's get into the basics of what we're going to be going over so because we're going to be in some formal meetings with people we need to make sure that we look presentable we have the proper attire that we have um, everything we're going to be needing while we're there so um, Give me a second. So, let's just start off with some basic stuff. So say you are in a group of five individuals. Let's have myself as one individual, four people below me. They all work for me. Um, as the ranking person, the leader in the group, I will always come into a room first. I'm the leader of the group. It is, I will always be presenting myself as such. The Chinese, um, they respect seniority a lot more than we do here. It is something that is earned, not given. So it's something that they definitely uh, they definitely play off a lot more than us. So just keep that in mind. So if you're the senior one of the group, there's going to be a lot more expected of you overall. So just ensure that you are looking presentable, your hair's cut, shaved, your clothing is presentable. Um, and just make that sure the people that you're with are also presentable as the leader of the group. That's what you should be. Um, you should simply, it's just your job. Um, so another thing that we have to keep in mind, once we're in the presentation, once we're in the meetings trying to pitch our ideas of why we want to move there, we just have to be courteous to their, um, to their needs. So we're an American business. We were born and bred here. So we speak English naturally. We may not have someone on the team that's fluent in Chinese, but that's what they're going to be fluent in. That is their country. So we need to make sure we have a translator. Don't expect them to speak English. Don't expect them to cater to us. They are polite uh, civilizations, but it is not their job to cater to us. So ensure that you have a, uh, um, I can't think of the word, translator with you to translate all discussions. It will just make it easier on you. In the long run, uh, business attire simply a suit for a business meeting. It's going to be a suit. Um, if you get invited to dinner or something like so like that, you still want to look presentable, but just be aware that it's it's dinner time. There's nothing that's going to be discussed about business unless they bring it up first. Sorry that my laptop is shaking. I made my table shake. Um, Another thing to be weary of is 
The Chinese may take days, weeks on negotiating between themselves. They may pretend to mislead us in a business deal. Um, if they're pretending to not be they're pretending to not want to work with us, if they're giving you some bad vibes, if they're making you feel uncomfortable, don't be too startled by that. It's it's a tactic that's known by them that it's just part of who they are. They will try and get a better deal out of us in terms of what percentage we want, what percentage we're going to give them. Um, it's simply something that they're going to do. So now that I've given you the basics, um, I will attach a business letter that I've, that I've drummed up and it'll break down everything. Thank you again, my name is Ryan Bird, good night.